In this lesson, you are going to learn why using a hub is essential for using Loopy Pro with multiple devices, how to power your iPhone and iPad whilst still connecting additional gear, the best way to get connected using a lightning port on your iPhone or iPad, and the key specs to look out for when buying a hub. So what do we need to look out for? Why use a USB hub in the first place? Well, your iPhone and iPads and other iOS devices only give you one port. Meaning, if you want to plug in an audio interface or a MIDI keyboard or any additional gear, you're going to lose the ability to keep power coming to your device. So using a hub solves this problem. To get connected on a lightning device, that's the older port that you get on an iPhone and iPad, you're going to need one of these. This is a lightning to USB 3 adapter. It's also known as the camera connection kit. And the reason this is important is it provides you with two different ports. You have a lightning port here so you can provide power to the iPad and also you have this USB connection here which you can run straight to an audio interface or an additional USB hub if you have multiple items to be plugging in. A typical setup would be your iPad plugged into this hub. You would then have power coming into this port here and then you would have an additional USB splitter hub here with two or three USB ports connected to your audio interface, MIDI controllers, and anything extra you want to plug in. Now this camera kit can supply power via this extra port here to your iPad and devices, but it is somewhat limited. So just be aware of that. If you start to plug in lots of devices that require a lot of power, then you may want to make sure that they have their own power delivery options as well. A lot of USB audio interfaces can be bus powered, meaning they're gonna draw the power from the iPad. However, it may be important for you to look out for an audio interface, which can be plugged in also, therefore taking the strain of this one adapter to supply power to everything. Now, if you're on the more modern USB-C connection, then things are a lot simpler. There are so many USB hubs available easily on Amazon and other retailers. You can find a wide range of adapters with so many different ports. You've got HDMI, SD card readers, USB ports, USB-C, USB-A, all types because these hubs are designed for much more use than just Loopy Pro. But the main things we're looking for when it comes to Loopy Pro are USB ports. You may need USB-A and USB-C ports depending on what your devices use. And you also want power delivery. This is displayed often with a little PD symbol. This means that you can plug in a power adapter to the USB-C hub. It then provides power to both the iPad and iPhone, keeping it charged, and also the devices that you've got plugged in. Now, the power adapter that you actually plug into the hub does matter as well. Quite often your iPad will come with like a smaller 20 watt or lower charger. With iPhones, it can be even smaller than that. And that's not really enough to both provide power to your device and all of the additional devices you've got plugged in. So I use this. This is a 100 watt power adapter that I had from an old MacBook, but you can get similar to these online. This just provides enough power and gives me enough headroom for everything that I want to run. On the lightning connection, the power brick doesn't make as much difference because this adapter can only supply a certain amount of power. So it's not gonna pass everything through. So on the lightning side of things, you're better off thinking about not having too many things plugged in without their own power and just maybe sticking to a couple of things using this lightning connection. Personally, I've had fantastic results with my Anchor 7-in-1 USB-C hub that I got on Amazon. I've been using it for about two years now without a hiccup. For connecting a USB-C hub, it's pretty simple. You just have the iPad plugged straight into the USB-C hub and then power goes to the USB-C hub and so do all of your devices. Well, a couple of recommendations. If you're using the Lightning connection, then I really would recommend using Apple's own adapter here. Now, I know that is super annoying. I've just purchased this one and it's not cheap. I think it's £45 for an adapter, which is just crazy. It's a real shame. There are third-party adapters out there, but I've heard some bad things with these third-party adapters where they stop working with iOS updates. They can be dropping in and out. If you want any kind of reliability, I really would go with the Apple's own branded one here. You don't really have too many options. For USB devices, brands like Urgreen and Anchor have got a pretty good reputation. And as I mentioned, I've been using the 7-in-1 Anchor Hub for many years. 
And again, if you're buying this hub specifically for Loopy Pro, the main thing is USB count and that power delivery port. However, HDMI, SD card slots are all useful depending on what you plan to use your iPad and iPhone for. And remember to keep an eye out for that power adapter, not only delivering power to your iPad, but also everything else that is plugged in. And if you're gigging, I would definitely have a backup USB hub because these have been known to go wrong and you don't want a disaster on stage.